Violin World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 468 The Casualty List Intensive Care Unit, Constant Care Suites, General Administrative, Contagious Disease Quarantine. Floors flickered and flashed by on the hospital elevator's display as it descended beneath the ground. Belay watched her location readout unhappily, hers folded and the screen's light reflected rectangularly in her eyes. You know, when I said I'd rather talk to the Wendigo than Crystal, I didn't mean we should actually go do it. Shinespark sighed. There's no research levels this password will let us reach, and Chauncey said to use this password, so we're going to the one place we've been before and hoping he'll... Uh, know how to find us or something. Meh, Valet insisted. Meh, meh, meh. I want to go back to the ship and take a nap. You were the one who suggested we go here now, sister, Niala reminded her with a tone of worry. And now you want to go home? Valet closed her eyes. Heh, yeah, the dream really is our home, isn't it? Uh, she sighed. Bananas, I don't know what I want. I need to move, maybe find someone again. I need... The elevator dinged at the psychiatric ward, and the door slid open. From there, Valet didn't even have to remember the way, her nose guiding her around a corner and down a concrete staircase as Shinespark ensured Niala didn't trip. They reached the fool's room outside Puddles' containment chamber, and the door was already open. Yeah, Valet muttered, leading the way. Looks like he's already... Whoa, huh? Iron flanks? Valet! Maple jumped, having been seated in contemplation on the room's little bed all alone. Maple? What are you doing here? Shinespark narrowed her eyes. This is supposedly where the Wendigo is. Uh, she glanced around, and I'm impressed. This is interesting decor for a prison. But how come you're here? Maple folded her ears. How come you're here? Valet narrowed her eyes. Looking for Chauncey. He invited us to check out his labs, and we figured that was as good a place as any. Now, how about you? I thought we agreed we weren't getting into anything too deep, so everyone who went anywhere went as a team with me, and everyone else stayed back at the ship. I'm sorry, Maple squeaked and wilted. I just... <clears throat> she sighed. I was talking to Jam Jars. She said something about how she had gone to see Puddles alone and had been fine, and the Windigo had been upset she didn't bring more friends, so... I thought alone might be a good way to deal with her, and... She stopped, sinking against the bed. No, I'm sorry. I just needed to contribute, and... She clenched her teeth. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm sorry. I should go back to the ship. Did something happen? Vili asked, sensing waves of stress radiating off her friend. Schneisberg approached Maple's other side and sat down. You sound like you're not okay. Maple sniffed. Do you really want to talk about it? Valet patted her on the back as Niala looked around. This is a weird place to come for solace, Diarma murmured. I don't like it. Something nearby feels... wrong. Hey, we don't need to talk. Valet gave Maple's shoulder an encouraging nuzzle, leaving her wing draped around her shoulders. We just want to be there if something happened. Screw Chauncey, we'll sit down here as long as you need, and then go wherever. Did Serena's cutie mark break? Shinespark whispered. No, Maple wiped at an eye. I just... I was helping Charter and Slipstream. They were making friends at the administration building and looking for records to get a better idea of the kind of history a place like Advaldi has. Valet hugged her harder, figuring if it worked for Starlight, it would work for her. Did Birdo offend you or something? She consoled, letting Maple rest her face against her coat. I can totally trash him until he gets his manners back on straight if you want. Maple tearily shook her head. Did you learn something? Niall asked softly. Something about this place? I did, Maple whispered. Why everything is so spread out and uncrowded? Why there are old buildings nobody needs? Why there are so few people? We found census data from twenty years ago. Then, at least, the population... She hiccuped. Less than half of newborns live to be a year old. That doesn't count stillborns. There were other statistics, too. I... Maple started shaking, and Valet and Shinespark both sat at their sides. That's not something I wanted to know. I can't do anything about it. Even if it was today and not from when I was a filly, I wouldn't be able to do anything about that. We saw the total population numbers, too. That many... I... I couldn't do anything, and I needed something to do, and I came here, but haven't gone in, and... and... Bananas. That's rough. Valet rubbed her back. I told Gerardo and Slipstream I was going back to the ship, Maple choked. They're still looking at why it happened. I don't want to know. I want to forget that could 
ever happen? Schweinsberg dropped a tear of sympathy. Could have been me. I'm 19. Same time period. Good thing all of us are alive, right? Valet kept her eyes dry, allowing Maple's tears to make her coat wet for her. We ain't gonna get you to talk with Amber, she muttered. And Willow, and me, and uh, Bananas, whoever else. I don't know how to get you over this full thing, but it's messing you up even worse than me and Ironwich. Pick up, talk will do for now, though. My nose stings in this place. It's not really the best for feelings. I wish I could cry, Niala said. I'd cry with you. Maple hissed a shuddering breath. I don't know why I can't get over it. It makes so many things so hard for me, like being happy for white chocolate. But at the same time, anyone who can get over that many falls has something wrong with them. Ah, does being here help? Valet asked, still holding her. At the very least, she knew what wouldn't help. Mentioning a word about Crystal. A little. Why? Because you look emotionally steamrolled. Valet patted her back and smiled. I've already been around the ringer once today, and Sparky did want to see what the Winnego was like. The two of us could go in there while you and Yala wait and get, like, flattened in solidarity. <laughs> Shinespeck almost chuckled. That's the worst idea I've ever heard. We shouldn't be going in there emotionally compromised for any reason. I am curious to see what will happen, though. So, I guess if you didn't want to leave immediately... Niala tilted her head and thought. If the Windigo is stuck in a pony body, I wonder if they feel similar to how I do. I'm curious, too. Don't ask that, Maple warned. About going in there, because it's a terrible idea, and I will say yes. I feel like I need to do something. Hey, Valley winked. Terrible idea? Sure, maybe you do need to do something. We're all leaning on each other already, right? Maybe it won't know what to do with this much trust and nice stuff. This is a terrible idea, Shunsberg repeated, and I'm forcing everyone out the moment it says something that would make it hard for us to leave on our own, or it tries too hard to hurt us. But I'm fine, Valet's frustrated, but fine, and maybe you'll actually get to do something. End of chapter 468